Hi, welcome to Star Wars 100 Interviews from Sci-Fi Central Australia, DJ here. Please subscribe so we can keep bringing you more interviews with Star Wars cast, cameos and crew. Today a two-part interview with Daniel Logan, young boy Boba Fett, or as he calls himself... Notorious Little Savage from down in Aotearoa, what's up? <laughs> That's right, Daniel Logan's from New Zealand, and as a young chap played young Boba Fett, of course. Tell us about that experience. Uh, 13, down in New Zealand playing rugby, and uh, they came down and auditioned. They didn't tell me who I was auditioning for, but uh, they asked me to go along and basically just have an interview and answer questions like this, and uh, I don't know what I did right, but they chose me out of around 5,000 children all over the world. Um, but it was an experience that I never thought I was going to ever get to say I got, I'll be able to get to do. Yep. Me and my family always joked about it and said, I'll be the kid who will forever say, I auditioned to be that little kid. And now I am that little boy. It's, it's really, uh, it's humbling. Tell me, uh, how life-changing is it? Because look at all these people here in Germany. You know, I went from a very small town, small little community to, uh, you know, moving over to uh, California and now being able to travel the world. I mean, um... I'm one of the most blessed little Kiwi boys there are to be able to not only be a part of Star Wars, the franchise, but to be able to enjoy and come into these things and, you know, being reminded every day how wonderful my character is and how well I did the character. And I mean, that's a blessing in itself. What did George Lucas tell you about the character at that stage? Uh, well, I came in it fresh. I never knew anything about Star Wars. So, I mean, I thought I was going to be a Jedi. And then they were like, no, uh, Boba Fett, he, he's a bounty hunter. I was like, well, oh, what the, what is that? But he basically just let me uh, free range it. I, uh, I had a very big imagination, and I could picture and imagine anything. So, I mean, he just was able to say in the right words for me to say, to me to be able to project in my mind what he was trying to uh, bring across to the story. And... Uh, I don't know, I, I just was able to see it all, even though it wasn't there, it was weird. I'm back on uh, Monday, I think, to fly spaceships. <laughs> Can you do that? Fly through asteroids, fight, shoot. And what sort of relationship with GL did you have? Was it like a fatherly relationship? Nah, he was more like that quiet uncle, you know? He, uh, he's been a blessing though. I mean, he wrote me a letter for my visa, um, or my green card to stay in the United States. Awesome. And I mean, you know, uh, I'm welcome up at the ranch at any time. So, I mean, he's more of an uncle, you know, and uh, he still got my back to today. He asked me back personally for the Clone Wars, you know, and uh, that's something in itself, you know. So, I really, I love the guy. He's changed my life and not only mine, but my family. So, um, yeah, I mean, we don't have a call on conversation, you know, everyday relationship. But, I mean, whenever he sees me, he's, uh, he's very uh, polite and always remembers me, you know. So, I, uh, yeah, I have much respect for the man. People love the character of Boba Fett so much. Why do you think that is? Um, before I would have said the uh, the outfit and the um, the jetpack and whatnot, but you know what? Boba's that character I think we can all relate to. He's uh, there's that one kid in school that's quiet, you know, moves slowly. You know uh, something wrong with him, you know. You don't really know who he is, and you just know not to mess with him. And then when he comes out, you know, he comes out with a bang, you know, and shows up pretty good so uh i think i relate to him to that guy in school believe me this is rain this is real rain in part two daniel talks about future boba projects and big boba fett actor tebuera morrison so please subscribe and like catch you soon